Hello everyone, myself Hazrat, faculty at Ace Engineering Academy. These are my few credentials. I secured 14th rank in GATE, 45th rank in ESC, and then I pursued my MTech at IIT Bombay in Mission Design Specialization. And then I worked at GE Aviation for 9 years, and I am having a pretty good teaching experience combined with my industrial experience helps me to teach the subject in a highly practical and simpler manner. Okay? In today's video, we will discuss detailed solutions of strength of material questions given in GATE 2021 Mechanical Engineering afternoon session. Observe carefully guys, there are 4 questions given in strength of material afternoon session and in 4 noon session, they are given 5 questions guys. In afternoon session, they are given only 4 questions and I proudly say that Every question can be answered easily with our classroom notes or with the help of our Ace Academy Deep Learn videos. Coming to the first question. A cantilever beam with a uniform flexural rigidity as clearly mentioned guys. Flexural is directly given is loaded with a concentrated force at its end. The area of the bending moment diagram he has given that area of the bending moment diagram corresponding to the full length of the beam. These are the keywords actually guys. Full length of the beam is 10,000 years given. Then magnitude is asking just magnitude of the slope of the beam at its free end in terms of what? This is a very very important micro radians. Indirectly is asking guys. I have a cantilever beam subjected to point load. Subjected to point load, then what is the slope at the point load? If I know the W, I can find the W square by 2 here easily. But he has given, he hasn't given the load, he has given the area of the bending moment diagram. What you can do, guys? Very simple. Observe carefully. You know that. Slope, assume this is the A, this is the B. I want theta B minus theta A equal to how much guys? Area of bending moment diagram. Area of bending moment diagram between A to B by EI. But definitely guys, whenever load is acting, what is going to happen? Theta A will be 0. As theta A will be 0, what I can make it guys? This term will be 0. Now tell me sir, theta b equal to how much? Area of the bending moment diagram. So area of the moment directly given sir, how much? 10,000. 10,000 by 200 into 10 power 6. That's it. 200 into 10 power 6. So I can say guys, 10 power plus 6 guys, it is 50 into 10 power minus 6. I can say 50 micro radians. So here answer is what guys? 50. The answer must be 50. You have to substitute. Hope this is clear. Next, coming to second question. A plane frame, he has given the frame like this guys. PQ and QR frame and has given remaining data and has clearly mentioned neglect the axial effect of the force, axial stress, neglect the axial stress, okay, and the transfer shear, the horizontal deflection at the free end is, is asking horizontal deflection at the free end. If it is a frames problem, what is the best method to find the reflection guys? I clearly mentioned in the classroom also. What it is? It is a, tell me sir, strain energy method. I can find out strain energy U equal to how much guys? U of QR plus U of PQ. U of QR plus U of PQ. Yes or no? That equal to how much guys? 0 to L mx 
होल स्क्वेयर बाई टू ई आई इन टू डी एक्स प्लस अब जो केयरफुल्ली सर जीरो टू एल लेंथ इज सेम सेम लॉजिक एम एक्स होल स्क्वेयर बाई टू ई आई इन टू डी एक्स दिस इज यू ओके टू गेट द डिफ्लेक्शन वॉट गाइस डिफ्लेक्शन इक्वल टू हाउ मच दो यू बाई दो एफ आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट हॉर जनरल डिफ्लेक्शन दिस विल गिव यू वॉट गाइस डिफ्लेक्शन डायरेक्शन ऑफ एफ सो विच मीन इंडली इज गोइंग टू गिव यू वॉट गाइस हॉर जनरल डिफ्लेक्शन डिफ्लेक्शन इक्वल टू दो यू बाई दो एफ सो इट नाउ योर टास्क इज टू फाइंड आउट एम एक्स इन द पोर्शन इन द सेगमेंट क्यू आर एम एक्स इन द सेगमेंट पी क्यू इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली सर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली P Q R. How is your F is acting? Take a distance x. So moment is varying. So in P, sorry in Q R, in Q R, m x equal to how much guys? F into x force into x. It can be positive. It can be negative. It doesn't make any sense for me. Why? Because m x whole square. Now in PQ, how can you get in terms of in PQ, guys? In PQ, I want to find out moment in terms of PQ. Now tell me, guys, transfer this force to here. If you transfer, I will be having a F with a couple. Couple, how much, guys? F into L. So m equal to how much, guys? F into L. That's it. If you observe in PQ. He has clearly mentioned F will give you what axial stress. He directly asks us to ignore the ignore. Observe carefully, guys. Ignore the energy due to axial stress. So I can simply say that M X in P Q equal to how much, guys? F L. Okay. Now substitute. Now I can simply make it U equal to zero to L. Tell me, sir, M X equal how much? F X, F X whole square by two e i into d x. Okay, next here M X is how much, guys, sir? F L plus zero to L. Tell me, guys, F L whole square by two e i. Into dx. That's it. Here, how much I am going to get, guys? That equal to f x cube by three, which means that f l cube by six e i plus. Tell me, guys. Sir, two. So how much I am going to get? F square. Sir, sorry. F square l cube by two e i. This is I am going to get. That's it. Now tell me, guys. I want deflection. Means do u by do f. How much I am going to get? If you just differentiate with respect to f, two f l cube by six e i plus two f l cube by two e i. How much I am going to get, guys? So three times. So F L cube by three i plus F L cube by y i. Finally, I am going to get four by three F L cube by how much? Y i. That's it. So look at the answer. Four by three F L cube by E I. This probably you can solve easily in two minutes, guys. I am telling you. Okay. इतना जरूरी नहीं सा writing everything is not required. Just by seeing I can able to say अरे moment in the P R equal to F X, moment in the P Q equal to F L. That's it. Okay. Next coming to next question. This is interesting, guys. A column with one end fixed and one end free. It's clearly mentioned. One end is fixed, 
other end is free has a critical buckling load of as clearly mentioned critical load how much guys 100 newtons 100 newtons for the same column observe carefully for the same column if the free end is to be replaced with a pin end so here what happened he replaced the column with a pinned end pinned end then critical buckling load will be how much is asking guys in this case if apply a load this critical load equal to how much so pretty straightforward guys look at here carefully if it is one end fixed other end is free tell me sir p critical equal to pi square e i by l e square but one end is fixed other end is free means l e means how much guys 2 l l e means 2 l here l e equal to how much guys 2 times of l how much i am going to get pi square e i by 4 l square e equal to how much guys is equal to 100 he has given okay from this i can make it pi square e i by l square is equal to how much guys 400 this is what he's this is not what he's asking he's asking if one end is fixed sorry if one end is fixed and other end is pinned l e equal to how much guys l by root Two. Okay, now observe carefully. P critical equal to how much? Pi square e i by L e square means L by root 2 whole square. So, how much I am going to get, guys? 2 into pi square e i by L square. How much is the pi square a by l square guys 400 so how much is coming sir 2 into 400 that is 800 that's it now observe guys how much you got the answer guys is a 800 newtons 800 newtons is the straightforward answer guys okay guys coming to the next question a steel cubic block of side 200 mm is subjected to a hydrostatic pressure of 250 megapascal is clearly mentioned guys assume i have a a cubic block of each side assume each side this is the a a equal to how much guys 200 mm okay is subjected to a hydrostatic pressure what is hydrostatic pressure guys i can say sigma x equal to sigma y equal to sigma z that equal how much guys minus 250 okay minus 250 so it is subjected like this okay then elastic modulus has clearly mentioned e equal to how much guys 2 into 10 power 5 megapascals and Poisson's ratio V is given as 0.3. Okay, then the side of the block is reduced by indirectly what he is asking, guys. I am having a steel cube. When I try to compress with a pressure of 250 megapascals, then how much is the each side is reduced? He is not asking how much volume is reduced, guys. How much each side is reduced? How can you find out pretty straightforward guys that is strain in the x direction that equal to how much sir delta a change in side by original side that equal to what is the formula sir 1 by e into sigma x minus v times of sigma y plus sigma z but we know that sigma x equal to sigma y equal to sigma z just make it 
sigma by e into 1 minus 2v okay but he's asking what guys delta a equal to how much delta a change inside equal to how much guys a into sigma by e into 1 minus 2v now tell me guys a equal to how much sir a equal to how much is given original it is a 200 mm 200 mm into hydrostatic stress minus 250 just make it minus 250 by e 2 into 10 power 5 2 into 10 power 5 into 1 minus 2 into 0.3 we just simplify guys you are going to get minus 0.1 mm you are going to get he is directly asking guys uh, side of the block side of side of the block is reduced by so do we need to put minus symbol here if you put minus symbol answer is wrong side of the block is reduced by already taking care of the minus guys so just you have to write 0.1 mm that's it guys okay hope this is clear guys and hope you understand everything thank you guys and all the best